Hi, I'm Peter Kageyama. I'm the author for The Love of Cities and the follow-up Love Where You Live. I talk about love and emotional engagement and why it's a good thing for people like you to fall in love with the city that they live in. And this is St. Pete in Progress. Hi, I'm Mayor Rick Reisman, and today we're here to talk a little bit about the pier. And I am with two of the people who have been involved in this project pretty much since the beginning, Chris Balestra and Kristen Brett. And I gotta tell you guys, I, you think about this project going all the way back to when we first set a budget back in 2004, 2005 of $50 million. And here we are on the verge of construction beginning. How excited are you guys about where we're at and what the future looks like here for this pier? I could not be more excited. I've been involved for a long time and it's a transformative project for the city. Again, the ability to pull the community together after a very challenging process, working with the community behind the scenes and in public forums as well. All along this process, it's all been about what the community wants. The community's been waiting a long time for a new pier, and we are so close now to seeing some construction actually happening. So we're just delighted to be part of the process and really excited to be helping bring this to St. Petersburg. have to be great you know third spaces for people to gather some of them are coffee shops some of them are restaurants but a lot of them have to be the public realm you know the, the parks the squares uh, there that, that we actually have to be intentional about and we have to be intentional about preserving them I think one of the things that we heard a lot during a lot of those meetings and forums was about uh, family involvement and a family friendly uh, place at the pier can you talk a little bit about that Absolutely. Families are the key ingredient here. We have several components that are critical, shade, cover, and comfort, but we want to make sure that families have uh, destinations along the way connected by park systems, and uh, every inch of the project is serving families, whether you're walking, bicycling, pedestrian, Segway, however you plan to get here, even vehicular. I uh, want to make it easy, we want to provide activities for kids, uh, people of all ages, all demographics, uh, that's been a key element in the design process. If we end up, you know, uh, developing every square inch of St. Petersburg, it's not going to be the city that we actually want to live in. So I think we have to be smart, we have to be judicious, we have to respect that, you know what, uh, there's a lot of value in, in, in the life between buildings. You know, over the life and the history of, of our pier, it's traditionally been the over the water piece that we've thought about. Chris. Tell us a little bit about uh, some of what else there's going to be and how it's going to connect uh, to the, the heart of our downtown. Absolutely, a waterfront master plan that was done about five years ago laid out the way to connect the city to the pier. It was a, been a missing element uh, for many, many decades, really. And so right now with the addition of uh, 20 acres of upland or approach, uh, where we've got everything from a marketplace, echo gardens, pavilion, children's play area, splash pads, got a lot of activity that connects people immediately into downtown along with the public transportation connections, a tram. So there's a lot of things happening before you even get to the overwater experience, which is an experience unto itself. Tell me a little bit about how we're trying to communicate with the public and get information out. We created a peer website, newstpeer.com. You can go online to the website and do a virtual tour of the new pier. There's just a wealth of information. We also have an email distribution list where we send periodic updates and we use social media as well. And then when it's warranted, we have occasional public forums and workshops. I think the fact that we're going to use this as more green space, more uh, venue, uh, as more of an asset like that. I think that says we have, we've maybe moved beyond thinking, hey, we gotta have a, a downtown tourist attraction. No, I think we just have to have a great downtown. And we already have a great downtown. This is gonna add to it. Having this additional 20 acres of land really allows us uh, to put so many more elements in that make the, the pier and the whole pier district uh, more accessible to the community as a whole. Absolutely, the goal is to make it accessible, make it easy for people, and provide destinations that are fun. You've been watching St. Pete in Progress, and the sun shines here.